A fun thing about doing hybrid picking is being able to do double stops where you're hitting fretted notes with your pick and then using your middle finger or third finger on your right hand to have open strings droning as you hit those lower notes. Uh, and there's certain keys that are more conducive to that. Uh, if I'm in the key of E, you know, I can hit the high E string. If I do some kind of... So everything I'm hitting um, is just being mirrored, if you will, with a double stop on the high E string. So I'm using my middle finger on my right hand to hit the high E string, and then on the bottom, just using the pick to do... If I'm in the key of G, I can kind of mess around with different things. So when I'm hitting a, a, a pick note on the G string, I can use my middle finger on the high E string. And then when I go back to the D string with my pick, I can hit the B string as long as it's in G major, because B is the major third of the, of the G chord. When I go down to the, D, uh, the A string with the pick, I can hit the open G string. When I go down to the E string with the pick, I can hit the D string with my middle. So we got. Now I can also just use the open G string there with the D string. If I'm in the key of A, I can use the open E string, because it's the fifth of the chord. If I'm in the key of B, I can use the open B string. Now this one's a little bit more out. Danny Gatton would do this and it's, it sounds a little out, but if you're in the key of F, you can use the open G string as you're playing an F blues. So it's like... It's a little out, but it's cool. So anyway, that's just some examples of how you can use open strings. Now I'm going to play a little tune of mine uh, called Death of a Baseman, which incorporates some of this stuff. So we'll break it down. <laughs> 